Welcome to this episode of Our Quest. This is Dimple Mehta and today I am going to be talking about 10 tips to live in the present. How to live in the present, how to be in the moment, 10 secrets to that. I'm going to share that with you. So let me begin with thanking you for being here today, for taking out the time to listen to these podcasts. And I truly hope that this one further contributes towards your growth. If you like the episode, give us a quick rating or review on Apple Podcasts. That helps the episode to organically reach more people who might find it useful and beneficial. You may also screenshot and share on Instagram and tag us at temple.avaquest. More people can then listen and benefit from this. Please do subscribe to the show so that you get the latest episodes first. So, the 10 simple tips that I'm going to be sharing with you today can be practiced by you every day at the comfort of your home and scheduled as per the convenience of your time. When you practice these daily, they become your habit and eventually your lifestyle. And then you master the art of living in the present. That mastery comes when you practice it day in, day out. So remember, it's in your hands to put these to practice if you want to reap the benefits. So, the first one is to sit in the morning. When you wake up, when you start your day, spend some time with yourself. Sit with yourself. Just feel what's happening. How's the day beginning? How's your energy? What do you feel like doing? What's lying ahead in the day? What are the agendas? What are the goals for the day? To be able to achieve those, to be able to fulfill those, you must be in sync with yourself. You must be aligned with yourself. And for that, you need to spend some time with yourself. So begin your day by having some alone time with yourself. Check with yourself. So take out some time in the morning and spend that first few minutes, first first part of the day just with yourself. Not with your phone, not with anybody else, just with yourself. And then you can start your day with your family, your friends, your colleagues, and then eventually, definitely, you will get to your phone as well. So yeah, the second thing that you can do to live in the present is to eat mindfully. It's such an important thing to eat with all of our senses and not just dump the food down our throat into our stomach. We tend to kind of neglect that fact and we are always just eating for the sake of filling our stomach or sometimes just binge eating for uh, for the comfort of our brain, stressful eating and those eating habits don't really help us. They further disconnect us. Eating mindfully means you need to focus on the food that you're eating. Look at your food, that's your sight, smell the food, that's your, that's your another sense organ that, that needs to f- feel the food. Taste your food, focus on the sound that's there when you're chewing the food. And when you're eating your food, you can probably even feel your food by touching it, if it's okay to be eaten with hand, for example. Each of your sense organ needs to be aware when you're eating and that's eating mindfully because only then you can truly absorb entire aspects of the food. And then you would eat only what you really need and not what you're, you know, probably eating when you're eating out of stress or, you know, out of addiction or just to seek some comfort. No, eating mindfully is super important. The third thing that you need to do to be in the present is to spend time outside in the nature. Nature is magical. Doesn't matter whether you're in a 
a snowfall place or a sandfall desert or uh, um, it's, it's a green plateau or it's the mountains or it's the beach it doesn't matter nature has immense capacity to heal us not just the physical wounds but our inner wounds our emotional stress our traumas our our entire well-being can be healed simply by being in the nature so when you make it a practice that you do spend some time on a daily basis in the nature maybe you could cycle outside maybe you can go for a walk maybe you can just sit outside under a tree in a park anywhere when you can where you can experience nature fully and soak it in it's going to help you be in the present so much you can focus on the sounds probably chirping at the birds probably the, you can feel the wind against your face against your hair you can hear the waves the sound of the waves on the beach wherever you are nature will always give you enough to heal you to make you feel present to ground you in the moment and it's going to be magical and if possible you could meditate which is the fourth thing that you need to do to be in the present which is meditation now to be a profound master of meditation you really need to uh, practice a lot but to begin with you can just start with focusing on your breath the inhales and the exhales it's really simple could be anywhere could be any time there are no rules to meditate all you need to do is focus on each of your inhale and exhale and there you are coming all of your thoughts because all our thoughts are connected with our breath so when you're meditating you're bringing all the thoughts that are gushing around the place past and future back to the present moment where you're just focusing on the inhales and the exhales the fifth thing that you must do to live in the present is to focus on one task at a time which basically means avoid multitasking. If you're focusing on one project, please do it by all means. If you're on your phone, just be on your phone. If you're with your family, simply be with your family. Don't try to mix the phone with the family. Don't try to mix the family with the friends. Don't try to mix work with home. I know it can be super challenging when you're working from home, but when you're doing something, just do that one thing. instead of trying to do a lot of tasks at the same time this way you'll do the task better as well as you're always keeping your mind in the present the next thing to do to be in the present is to feel the feelings it sounds pretty simple but believe me it's not we are always conditioned to react to our feelings and not feel them to feel the feelings means to experience it to sit with it to let the feeling come and observe how it makes you feel and just not do anything about it it's not always that easy i mean when somebody is asked to feel their anger somebody is asked to feel their anxiety somebody is asked to feel their pain people withdraw they don't want to do that but once you do that you have conquered something big and then you can be comfortable with anything that you are feeling and you will get the message or the lesson that that feeling is trying to give you and then you would neither live in the past nor want to um dwell in the future you would you would be willing to be in the present it's a big 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 step to be in the present so next time when you're having a big feeling instead of reacting or avoiding just feel the feeling The seventh thing to be in the present is to create something or detox from social media or technology. Basically, keeping your time away from social media or technology can help you a lot because the social media stimulates certain parts of our brain that makes it difficult to be in the present. And we are just so used to being on social media that if we are not on it, we feel bored. So you could use that boredom to create something music art food whatever but just detoxing from social media is going to help you focus on what you're trying to create you might create something really beautiful 
and you would definitely be in the present while doing that eighth tip would be to get some exercise our bodies have been made in a manner that we should be continuously moving primitively we have been animals sedentary lifestyle which we are now living in is really not the way that we are meant to be so getting some exercise moving our body really helps in being in the present because that movement always brings us back into the present be it a dance be it a sport be it yoga be it any form of exercise it always helps us to be in that present moment while we are exercise tip number 9 notice your surroundings when you're sitting somewhere observe the walls if it's a room maybe it has table maybe it has a window maybe there's a beautiful tree outside the window maybe the tree has some flowers or some fruits maybe there's a painting in the room maybe there's a piece of art in the room observe your surroundings if you're out in let's say a public transport at a bus stop maybe there are people around maybe there's a small little girl walking maybe there's an old aged person walking with a stick observe your surroundings it just helps you to be in that moment where you are instead of your thoughts bouncing all over the place and jumping either in the past or in the future both of the places where we don't exist we only exist in the present and the most important tip the last one is to spend time with the people who make you happy and fulfilled it just so happens that if we are spending time with people who drain our energy it's kind of difficult to be in the present and it is true that other people can drain our energy if we let them so it's very important to choose our circles it's very important to decide who do we spend our time with we are social beings we charge ourselves through energies of others and we also drain ourselves through energies of others so it's very important to spend time with those people who make you feel fulfilled who make you feel happy because only then you'll be charged up more to be in the present could be your friends could be your family members could be colleagues could be complete strangers what's important is that that conversation or simply just being around those people should make you feel happy and fulfilled You have been listening to our quest. Thank you for your time again. If you haven't already, please give us a quick rating on Apple Podcast and don't forget you can follow us on Instagram or share your screenshot of the podcast and tag us links in description. See you next week, same time, same place.